Today we're gonna to show you how to install a large glue lamb beam in a residential remodel and how to do it safely. Okay, so the first step of doing this is we need to support the rafters or support the members uh, and you have to identify it. So let's get a ladder here and let's show you why this needs to be supported. A, you can see there's a beam, so obviously it's supporting something. And then if you get up here, get up on that ladder and look, you can see the end of the rafters are sitting on it. So now that we have it identified what we need supported, both these rafters there's a second story, so we need to support the second story floor. It's not a roof load, it's just a second story floor we need to support. So what we're doing here is, up above me, you can see the top plates. We doubled it up, and uh, this is where our temporary wall is going to go. One there, and one right here. We're then going to anchor a bottom plate just to secure the bottom of it, so, you know, just preventing any kind of problems from happening, it from sliding out or just something crazy. Securing it down with some redheads and we'll grind it off when they put the flooring in. But uh, this right here will temporarily support it so we can remove this beam and extend it out. Gotta get the handheld socket. It's tight. Okay, so we got our base plate down. Nate the Great's got our two top plates up, screwed up there. Now this is important. You don't gotta cut the, you don't have to measure in between and cut it perfectly. We add a quarter inch. For example, watch how much uh, weight it takes on. You go here, as you can see, it's bigger. Watch this. You can hear it and feel it. Now it's supporting. This is a supporting member now. We'll hammer it in place. It's okay if it's a little cockeyed. We'll screw it so it doesn't slip or fall out. And we're gonna do that every couple feet. Probably have 20 supporting members. And then from there, we can just remove our beam because the second story floor is now supported. So now that we have our walls built, we can then proceed to removing the glue lamb. And here's how the glue lamb's connected. We already have it cut, so we're good. We already have this cut right here. These four, uh, three, Two by fours are supporting this glue lamb beam right up there, and it's a skinny little guy. So now that the walls are built, we could go ahead and remove this post, remove our hurricanes, and proceed to removing this whole beam down and putting a bigger one in to expand it all the way so we can remove this support wall. CAC, <laughs> boom! I hope I don't fall. Jimmy with a shimmy. Got him, coach. Getting it all cleaned up. Beam's about to be transported in. It's all the rafters are cut. Nate the Great here, everything residential. Our old beam, as you could see in the previous videos, was 11 inches. This new one that we have here below is gonna be 15 inches. So you see these notches in the rafters here along the ceiling? Those were made so that the beam can slide into that snugly, and then when it lines up here, both of the ceilings of the roof will be flush and you're not gonna have a gap anywhere. So, the beam's here, we got the lift and the crew. We're gonna throw it into place, check it out, and share it with a like. The Savage has arrived. Like Nate the Great said, the special guest of the day, the Savage has shown up on the job site. It's a beautiful Wednesday here, right before Labor Day weekend. We're over here, uh, we're putting a major beam in. Christian's the foreman on this crew. I'm just here to help. They needed somebody to help get us in place. So come on, let's show you what's going on over here. We're about ready to start hoisting this big old thing into that house after we set our rack in place to lift it in place. So. We'll see you in there. You're gonna see more of what's going on, but this is a big one. On these type of uh, cuts, 
you measure 10 times and you cut once because there is no unless Nate want to go in the truck and get the stud extender it's at three inches cool that's at three inches want to go down there Nate push the tape measure over Let me take my measurement. Yeah. Go to the very end of it. Alright, you start swinging, I'll come out. It's a big, big beam here. Probably, uh. I'm gonna slide it past it. Or just lift the beam up and I'll put it on the sidewalk and we'll just have to. Alright, ready? Two. Move it. I can't move it in the bush. There you go. Okay, stop. Pull it back a little bit. The dolly. Move it back. Good. Slide it. The dolly. You can help out with this too, guys. Nathan, remove the dolly when I lift it and slide this thing a little bit over, okay? Okay. Because it's sitting pretty clean right now, like it's not rocketing. Okay. Which means the dolly's kind of in the middle. Yeah. All right, ready? Yep. One, two, three. Hold on, back a touch. Back my way a little bit, Nate, right there. You can move forward a little bit. You can move forward so it's more secure. Okay, right there. Good. All right, take it over, buddy. Cool. Good filming right there, but that's Good filming, yeah, it probably crappy. <laughs> we'll only be able to use 30 seconds of it, but hey, it's all hey, right. We'll get bits and parts of it. So as you can see, we cut this exactly to right here. Got the seal toes on, baby. Skechers Deluxe. So what's gonna happen here is we have to keep it down like this. And so for us to be lined up with all this, we are gonna have to come over here and lift it into that pocket. Boom, right there. Lift in the pocket and then from there, I'll just crank it on up. Okay, explain what's going on, Savage. We've got a total fuck up here because the board just looks a little crooked to me. <laughs> I thought I'd bring it in here Georgia style, but it's just not working. We're going to turn this over to Christian now. So what's going on here? <laughs> what's, what's going on here is that uh, we're prying this into position, so we're going to measure for our post that's going right here. And our post is going to go right up in there to hold this side. Once this side is held and supported by a four by six, we're gonna move the actual like material lift closer to this side and crank it up into position, boom. And then it'll be 100% load bearing. One, it's time for anger Hands. management. Here at Everything Residential, we get rid of free stress relief at the cost of five dollars each come by and swing yourself a sledgehammer yeah. at the bottom up top christian sledgehammering in the post Let's get it flush against the wall we're moving the crack there you got a little bow in it is there a little bow well, if you put the bottom in not as much we'll, we'll lax it to go ahead and do it again that's not really much of a bow, dude. I like it. All right, let's pre-drill it and get our T30 in there. I like it. You want to explain it? Right now we got the stud here under the beam. Plays tricks with you. 
to the eye, it looks like it's level, but all the weight is good over here. And then as it comes over here, it's all resting down here above on the footer. So what we're gonna do here with the stud, have our little ton, ton, ton jack here, get it all up, lifted. Christian, you wanna go ahead and do the arm? Let's do it. All that pressure's being relieved. You see it coming off the header there. It's lifting the entire bar up. There it is, now it's bearing. Did it lift it up? Yep, now it's all bearing. Let's hey, give it away. Okay, I want to show this to you guys because we can't, this is out of our control and uh, this just kind of happens. So this right here, this measurement is three and a half. We notched it three and a half inches on every single one and we very carefully notched it on every one, right? So when you come over here, it's notched, but there's a small gap on the last three of them. Let's see the camera here. So it's notched, right? But look at the small gap it has. Which means that these rafters are up higher. So uh, we're gonna have to shim it and make it, you know, load bearing with the shims, but crazy. How, you know how that floor kind of happens like that. We're gonna use this two by six to slide it in that gap right there. And uh, then we're gonna add another two by 12, slap it on here and uh, we'll be good to go. So I'll see you at the table saw. So I used a 2x4 instead because uh, I don't have a big enough saw blade. Okay, now we'll slowly release the jack after we get our 2x12 in. Okay, the beam's into place. Next up is we're going to do our 2x4s. As you can see, we have our 2x12 installed, lag screwed into place. We have our one inch spacer up there and uh, beam's doing good. Solid, solid. And the viewers, watch me put in some structural screws to this 2x4 here. Give it some more support here for the beam. And a resting place for those rafters to sit on. We're using this clamp right here to pull this up as tight as we can. That way we could support the underside of the rafter. You see that? Now it's supported here and it's resting on the beam. Let's get it in. And if there's a small gap, we shim it. Just slide down. The moment you've all been waiting for. The beam's installed with the help of the Savage, of course. We have a team out here. Come inside, let's take a look. It's getting dark out, end of the day, we got mission accomplished. Walls are gone, beam is up. As you can see, you see our two by four ledger going across it, supporting like the heel, the base of that rafter. So two by four there, it's lag screwed into the beam. And uh, we went around on both sides. And if there was a little gap, we shimmed it. You can see the shim sticking out, shimmed it up. You saw us pound this in here, four by six, lag screwed into the existing post. Both glue lambs meet right here. We know there's a structural footing underneath, so that's good to go. Come take a look over here what we did. I ripped a two by four with the table saw, smashed it underneath there, and uh, we've applied an extra two by 12 right here. So essentially this is a five and a half wide by 12 inch tall beam and it's only spanning 60 inches or 80 inches so there's the load going into it right there and previously this uh beam to beam connection was only held up by a joist hanger and we thought that was not going to be strong enough so we went ahead and did that you guys got to stay tuned as we progress in this million dollar mansion remodel Stay tuned, up next is gonna be us installing some shiplap, so that's gonna be a fun video. Check out all that shiplap and that beautiful tile that got installed. So there you go.
Stay tuned, people. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment with your question. We'll answer it. As always, smash the subscribe, like, bells, and notifications. You guys have a good day.